Well, hi there. I'm Diane Gilliland, and I want to show you today a beautiful product from Clover Needlecraft. What is this object, you may be asking yourself? What it is, is a clamshell case. This is a template frame that allows you to use any fabric and any trim you like to build these beautiful and useful cases that you can use to store a whole lot of different things. Now the clamshell template comes in six pieces. There are three pieces that form the outside of the case. And these are a little larger and a little more rigid. And then the three pieces that form the inside of your case are a little smaller and a little more flexible. Here's what you'll need for materials. You're going to need some scraps of fabric, some low loft batting, some craft glue, a pencil or a water soluble marker, any hand sewing needle that feels comfortable to you, and then some nice strong quilting thread. Now your first step will be to take your fabric and trace one of your clamshell template pieces on the back of it with either a pencil or a water soluble marker. The main thing to know is to leave enough room around your trace line so that you can add about a half inch of seam allowance. And then using the very same template, you'll trace that onto your piece of batting. You'll actually cut that out right along your traced outline. Now next we're going to glue this batting to this template. And if you can, let that set for just a few minutes. Once you've given it time to set, then carefully trim away any batting that shows sticking out along the edges. Now next I'm going to do some stitching on this piece of fabric I've cut out. You're going to need a fairly long piece of thread on your needle. Now there's two important guidelines to look at when you're doing the stitching. The first is this traced line that you made. The second is the edge of the fabric itself. I'm going to do my running stitch right between those two guidelines. So here's a photo of what the stitching looks like when it's done. If you look at the corners of the shape, you'll notice that I didn't stitch around the corners. What I did instead was placed a large stitch across each corner. And here is the template piece with the batting glued to it. So I have my fabric with the right side facing downward, and I'm going to place the batting side of this template against the fabric. Now I'm going to take the end of my thread and I'm going to pull it. And look at how nicely that gathers the fabric up around the template. So what I need to do now is a zigzag stitch that tightens this fabric up around this template shape. I'm going to use my running stitch line that I just made as a guideline for those stitches. So as you notice, I'm holding the tension of the thread in my hand that's holding down the template. And with the needle, I'm just going to go through the other side of the fabric right at that point where I was running stitching earlier. And I'll pull the thread, and that makes a stitch across the template. And then I'll come over here, and I'll do the same thing. And I'm just working my way back and forth. So now I'm getting close to one of the corners. And you'll notice that that's sitting a little bit loosely. And that's because of that big stitch that we took earlier. So here's what I'll do. First I'll take the tip of that fabric and I'll just fold it straight down over and then I'll allow the other two sides of the fabric to fold over it. Again I still have my thread attached so then I'll just keep taking my little stitches here to finish off the tightness at the corner. And there's my first finished shape. And you'll actually repeat that process five more times so that you have three pieces for the outside of your case and three pieces for the inside of your case. The next step in our process is to stitch these together in pairs. They're going to go wrong sides together. And there's a little bit of an alignment trick to these. Here's how it works. The piece that represents the bottom of your clamshell, you're going to want to center the inner part over the outer part. So there's equal amount of blue fabric outside of the red fabric. Then for these two sides, we're actually going to line up the inner and outer pieces so that their bottom edges align. And here's a really helpful tool for this stage in the process, Clover Wonder Clips. We're going to use what's called a ladder stitch. I'll take my first stitch just into the bottom piece of fabric. That way my knot can get hidden between them. And then I'm simply going around the border, taking a little stitch into the top 
and a little stitch into the bottom and alternating those to bring the two pieces together. So here are my three completed pairs and on this one I have a little trim. Now I'm going to put these together into the case. So I'm going to start by putting one side and the bottom edge to edge and of course the edge I want to line them up against is the bottom edge. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to sew my way around this bottom edge with these two pieces sewn together. Now it's time to add the other side to our case. We can easily see which edge to sew this other side to because this edge has a wider border of the outside fabric and this side has a narrower border. This is where we're going to sew this piece here. Now it's a little hard to clip these pieces together for the sewing so here's a little trick I've discovered. So open up the two pieces you have sewn together, place this one over them, and then sort of bend this into a concave shape. You'll find that it sits pretty securely against this edge and makes the sewing easier to do. So with those two sides sewn together, my case is beginning to take shape. My last two steps will be to come here to the corner points where the three pieces meet and actually sew these two sides together about a half an inch up. And then at each end of the point where the case opens, I'll just put a little bar tack in for reinforcement. And there is my finished clamshell case. Mm -hmm.